If he gets it, his tone will change. Yeah. Yeah. To the left, Brandon. This one down here is where it got tore all the pieces in. That's part of the G's yeah, there. There it is right there. Great. Boy, that just, you know, you reckon that's just pressure that just collapses that? Because you know, you see how it don't tear nothing else in it? It's just, it's, uh, it's, it's unusual. All this pressure just makes it implode or something. I set you up with meetings with the head people at the United Nations, Kofi Annan at that time, the head men. I said, yeah, I'll come over. I mean, because he said, what do you think it should cost? He sent me the plans. I said, no more than 500 see which way it went. All That's these houses over here got a complete, beautiful blue with roofs. Floors instead of garage. That's what I did. Nobody built better than me, folks, really. Even the builders in New York will tell you. Call up Richard Lefrak. Call up the builders. They will tell you. Nobody builds better than me. So what happened, they call me and I go to the United Nations. And I'm talking to them. And the head guy doesn't know. I said, is it a boiler system or is it New York State? Uh, I don't know. I said, but aren't you a joint? Yeah, but I just don't know. I don't know what New York State is. I said, you got a guy you charge well, this money. This trailer so turned I, over right here I on said, the left. I will do it for 500 million. I'll say it down. Million dollars. I'll do it. And somebody said, well, yeah, but it won't be the same job. I said, that's right. Probably not even his. Yes. In other words, where it landed. In other words, you'll use linoleum or you'll use terraza and I'll use marble. It will be a better job. And you don't have to move. I'll do three floors at a time and nobody's even going to be disturbed. And you won't even have to say, hey, look, you tell me. So they had these big hearings that lasted for a long time. The books got to a third of the done. But I tell you, better. Same thing with the military. I'll get better stuff for less money. And even, as an example, they're going to order a new Air Force One, right? From Boeing. Three billion dollars. Now, I don't want to get into it because I'd like to have it if I win. You know, I don't I'd love to have it and blame Obama. Very old. Yeah. Oh, we should have a new Air Force One. I mean, it's a very old Boeing with the old engines still and stuff. But he was talking about the carbon footprint. And we must stop what's happening in pollution and global warming and all of this, right? Then he gets on the plane and he flies to Hawaii to play golf. And he flies back and he talks about the carbon footprint. Give me a break, folks. Give me a break. So, so, look. We're going to start winning with everything. We're going to knock out Common Core. We're going to bring our education up. We're going to repeal and replace the horror that's known as Obamacare. It is a horror. We are going to save and enhance and always protect our Second Amendment, which is under siege. I said, the wall just got 10 feet taller. Here's the thing. We have a 58 one. billion dollar trade left. deficit. Quit Mexico. Oh, yeah. 58 oh, billion man. dollar trade deficit. The wall's going to cost 10 billion dollars. Well, Maybe so 12 damn. inch, depending. Goes higher, higher, higher. <laughs> Nobody's going over the Trump wall, let me tell you, nobody. Gonna go deep and gonna go apartments are back in here. The and that completely lost his roof. Isn't it amazing how they can't stop the tunnel? I mean, it's called like check the area, right? So we are going to do that, but but it's gonna be there and it's gonna work. And you know, I won New Hampshire, and the people in New Hampshire, which went low, because they gave me that first great victory, and I love those people, and they have a huge heroin problem. You wouldn't think of it. You know, you see these beautiful fields and you see the beautiful trees and roadways. It's so beautiful. And the biggest thing, whenever I went to a meeting, was heroin, heroin, 
their kids are being addicted to heroin flowing across the southern border. And I had made a pledge to them. I said, we're going to, we're first going to help your kids trying to get them not addicted. They are so addicted. They have such a problem up there. You wouldn't think of it for New Hampshire. You could think of it for some places, not New Hampshire. These are incredible people. And I made a pledge. We're going to stop that flow from coming in. Because the easiest way to create, to stop the problem is just don't let them have it. If we don't talk to ourselves. Oh, so yes. Many friends. Your money. I don't need your money. I don't want it. I want you to go out and vote on Tuesday and just knock them dead. And let's go. Let's create a mandate. We are going to make America great again. We're going to win, win, win. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I love you. Thank you.